Yo, guys, hope you're enjoying UKSG. Um, yeah, I'm a Savid. And are we ready on time? So, time it starts in three, two, one. Let's go. Hey, Silent Vid. Uh, just a couple of minutes here, because uh, I seem to have done an uh, itsy bitsy little mistake. Uh, uh, <laughs> no worries. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just to explain to our dearest viewers, what just happened is I ran the uh, <laughs> the ad intermission once again. So give it like <laughs> give it two minutes, and we'll be right on with everything. Do try and give some insider info about the game, though, while everybody's waiting. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. So Silent Hill free. Sorry, I didn't know it was live still. Um, so yeah, Silent Hill 3, um, third game in series, obviously. Um, takes place 17 years after the first game. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Silent Hill 1 and 3 are like the same story. Silent Hill 2 is kind of its own thing, so um, this is like carrying on the events of Silent Hill 1. Um, and yeah, we're going to play as Heather. Who is spoiler alert Harry Mason's daughter from the first game? And yeah, PC version. Uh, sequel to Silent Hill 1, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Tesla. What's Good your favorite see. Silent Hill game? <laughs> favorite Silent Hill game? That's a tough one. Probably Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is, uh,. Just the best story, I guess. Neat. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hmm? stop talking now because we're good. Oh, and sick. Ready to start when you are. Awesome. So, ready on time? In three, two, one. Awesome. She dyed her hair from black, yes. Well, yeah, she bleached her hair. Um, so, yeah, this first part. Um, we basically want to die straight away. That's basically it. So this first section we're in kind of like a nightmare. And our goal is to just die. Straight away. As quick as we can. Uh, it's actually the same as Silent Hill 1. In Silent Hill 1 when you start, you actually want to die straight away. Nice. So there's a bit of RNG here. That's good. A few more hits. So yeah, it's a bit of RNG. Um, I'm not. I'm not getting good RNG right now. But um, this enemy can do like different attacks, like uh, weak or strong attacks, and I was just getting weak attacks, which kind of sucks. Yo, Joker's here. Nice. So. Um, yeah, that was a nightmare. We died as quick as we could. Um, and yeah, you do the same in Silent Hill 1. Um, but yeah, the nightmare's over, so now we're uh, exploring a mall. Shopping mall. Yeah, Silent Hill does need to make a comeback. Unfortunately, Team Silent doesn't make the games anymore, so... I think it's like a US company now. Um, so yeah. Uh, right now we're in the mall. We're basically the story. It's kind of a the story is hard to explain. Like I always pick games that are hard to explain story-wise, and this is one of them as well. Like all Japanese survival horror games seem to have a complex story, but um, basically there's a guy called Douglas who's like a detective, private detective, and he's basically been hired to stalk Heather, basically. So she tries to run away, and she ends up in the mall with loads of crazy stuff happening, so... That's basically the gist of the story. And right now we're going to use some pliers, not pliers, um, tongs, to get a key. And I'm not sure if this is true, but apparently that tong part, where you use the tongs to get the key, is a second faster on first boot of the game, apparently. 
but I don't think it's worth like closing the game and opening it every single time for a second, but yeah. So we're going to put these books up here, check this, uh, 3501 I think, just let me check, uh, 3501, nice, so yeah that's RNG, um, the whole point of that puzzle is you're supposed to pick the books up, put them on the shelf in the right order, and um, it'll tell you the code, but uh, it's just quicker to kind of like guess what it is. Um, but yeah, f like the last half of like a 3 and an 8 are very similar, so it's quite hard to tell between the two sometimes. Pick this up. So yes, the radio that I just picked up. It's in pretty much every Silent Hill game. And it basically just tells you where enemies are by making a static noise, pretty much. It's not actually that useful. <laughs> Maybe in a casual playthrough. So yeah, right now we're just skipping enemies, because of course it's quicker to just run past them. And right now we get the flashlight. Yeah, Joker's supposed to be commentator, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, category, this is easy riddle, easy action level. Um, so Silent Hill 2 and 3. Um, have, an, have a uh, difficulty select with riddle and action level, and action level is basically, you know, how difficult the action is, of course. And riddle is all the puzzles and stuff, so it's obviously easier to go on easy for both. And this is the most uh, popular category, so. And this might work. Nice. I thought it was a little too far away then. So yeah, this first part of the mall um, is pretty simple. We're now uh, entering the overworld part of the mall. So it's in the game, every area we go to, there's going to be like a regular version and like a overworld version. And it's like the overworld version where it's all like rusty and hellish. Oops, and I forgot the key. Wait, did I forget a key? Or is, hmm, I have the key, that's weird. Has the game uh, broke, or? Hmm. I'm kind of concerned that the game's like kind of broke. It's very strange. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this PC part's kind of buggy. So I assume that it's kind of broken. So we're just gonna have to load save. Uh, yeah. I would. Re we the estimate does count in enough time for a reset, but I think I'll just load uh, from here. So yeah, this PC bot is actually uh, fairly broken, and that is well too far into the game. Okay, we'll just have to load here. Yeah, this should be here. Okay. See, so yeah, that's weird. Hopefully, uh, uh, it's actually gonna work. So yeah, this PC bot. Um, it's kind of strange, so it has a weird bug where if you, well, it, it's not actually it has a trigger for it, it just happens, but um, it can kind of break where it just changes difficulty on the fly. Um, and yeah, let's hope that doesn't happen. So we'll try that again, but we've got enough time in the estimate, so. So unfortunately we'll have to do that first section again, and hope that it works. So yeah, grab the tongs, do all this again. 
So yeah, this PC port's actually not as broken as Silent Hill 2. Um, surprisingly, but um, yeah, it this should still be on easy, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, since we're doing this first section again, if you want to read any donations or um, plug anything in, now's a good time. Alright, cool. Um, so, currently don't have any new donors in yet. So, come on guys, donate. It's yes, for good donate. Good cause. Point. Yeah, it's to help, it's to help the homeless. Um, especially in this DNA. I'm not joking here, like. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we've got uh, donation incentives um, as well to tempt you guys with. Uh, we've got. Um, Final Fantasy 2 um, the names for the characters so we've got the names for Furion for example we've got Beans at $10 and Walter at $12 and for Guy we've got um, Roxy at $15.24 and for Leon uh, to be called Batman at $20 and for Maria to be called Erica at $50 so if you guys don't like that name you know, feel free to donate one, or if you do like it, still, so, uh, donate for that. Um, right, Jack. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> whoops. Uh, so, yes. yeah. Um, you good, or should I continue? No, it's all good. All right. See, so, yeah, thanks. So yeah. Um. Also, I just realized while you were reading that 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 was it wasn't a game bug, and it was totally my fault. <laughs> no, I forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, such a noob. So I've been practicing this game. In fact, I ran this at a different marathon like earlier today, and done loads of practice. And I just realised I forgot something. So simple mistake. It wasn't the game. It was me. So yeah, sorry guys, but I won't forget this time. It doesn't help because I have the game set to Chinese, and I can't read Chinese. But yeah, speaking of Chinese, um, yeah, the text actually doesn't matter. I just have it Chinese because why not? Um, there is Japanese, Korean, all sorts. Um, but yeah, it doesn't actually matter what you have it on, like, because obviously with normal games, like other, like Resident Evil and stuff. <laughs> yes, Joker. See, this is what I forgot. I was supposed to go up here. I was on rails and just uh, forgot. So this is where the key is, inside a dog. There we go. Yes, th this stuff always happens. Like, I always forget something in a marathon run, just the way it is. But yeah, now we have the key, we can actually continue. But I honestly yeah. thought the game was broken <laughs> for a second, because it, it does happen sometimes. There is a uh, bug where the difficulty just like changes on its own. Got time for me to see something quick? Or? Yeah, sure. Alright, cool. Um, I am done for my hosting shift, so thank you everyone for um, having me. Uh, the new host shall be Grisbear, who's coming on real shortly. And yeah, thank you guys. And give him a warm welcome. So, yeah, you may notice I'm uh, using time controls. Um, there is a 2D controls option, which is basically like a range controls, um, where you point the analog stick in a direction or the keyboard and you go in that direction. Um, with Silent Hill 2 it's faster to use t uh, 2D controls, but uh, with Silent Hill 3 it's actually faster to use, to use uh, tank controls, just because they're uh, a lot smoother and um, easier to maneuver. So yeah, you may notice that I'm actually uh, strafing a lot. Uh, strafing is just like super smooth and useful to uh, turn in this game. It's a lot quicker to uh, like strafe like that instead of just turning right. But yeah, hopefully I don't forget anything else. 
Yeah, so that wouldn't be good. But yeah, we're coming up to the end of the mall here. I'm the first boss mate. Yeah, luckily I only had to load to save right at the beginning of the game, so... And yeah, first boss fight. This is the only boss fight we're actually going to use the uh, handgun on. For the rest of the game after this, we'll be using a shotgun. And yeah, this first boss is Splitworm. Very weird looking thing. So it's RNG where it uh, appears. Okay, eight shots. I keep getting eight shots. I don't know why. But yeah, that boss can take um, six to eight shots. So it's got bad RNG there. Um, but yeah, you want to fire as quick as you can, and then for the, like the last uh, couple of shots, you want to like pace them out. Otherwise, it'll just like crawl back in, and um, yeah, you lose lots of time. So you kind of have to time that right. And yeah, that is it for the uh, mall section. So, and yeah, that was um, super super hard boss, by the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now we're in the mall section. Uh, the subway, sorry. Getting confused. It's late. It's 2 a.m. So. But yeah, we're in the subway now. So the idea is Heather wants to go home, basically. So she's going to take the subway. Um, so yeah, tank controls quicker in this game. Um, than 2D, like I said. But yeah, it's quite hard to uh, get used to the controls and strafing. Strafing takes a long time to get used to. Nice. Also, that item for some reason is pretty tough to pick up. Like she'll just keep, she'll just keep checking like the boxes next to it. Like the hitbox is really small for the uh, whatever it is. And yeah, the dogs in this game, uh, pretty easy to dodge. Unlike uh, Silent Hill 4. Open this. And now we're going to get uh, the weapon we're going to be using for like the most of the run. Apart from like one boss fight, which is the shotgun. Which, in, which is in a nice present box for some reason. Yeah, you can feed the dogs beef jerky. So that's like an exclusive thing to this Silent Hill. I don't think it's in any other. I could be wrong with like later games after 4, but I don't think you can. But yeah, in this game you can uh, equip beef jerky and just place it on the ground. And dogs can get distracted by it. It's not really useful at all. And that's the only use it has as far as I'm aware. So. So what we're going to do is trigger this door, strafe out, and try and climb this. Nice. So what happens there is um, you trigger the door, the dogs come, and then the train starts coming. Uh, if you're not quick enough, um, you will get insta-killed by the train. There'll just be a cutscene and Heather will just get squished. Um, that's another thing as well, so on um, easy action level, um, with like games like Resident Evil and stuff, um, typical survival horror, you uh, aim the weapon and then you shoot. Um, however, on easy action level, all you have to do is press one button and she'll aim and shoot at the same time, so it just makes it a bit easier. Um, the downside to that is when you're trying to open a door, it uses the same button, so if there's an enemy nearby, um, there's a chance she'll just try and shoot the enemy rather than go through the door, which kind of sucks. But there's nothing you can do about that. So right now we're just going through the carriages. <laughs> yeah, there's actually an Out of Bounds in the subway that was recently, recently uh, discovered on the uh, Silent Hill HD collection, which is 
a very, very bad part of the game. I would not advise to play that version. And now we're in the sewers. Uh, sewers is pretty linear. Um, there's two different sections. This first section, we're pretty much um, get an empty wine bottle, fill it up with fuel, and put it in a generator and leave. So yeah, that's the series. Uh, but yeah, there is New Game Plus. Uh, I don't run New, ga new, uh, new Game Plus, but New Game Plus um, takes advantage of an unlockable costume called Princess Heart, which is like super Japanese. Uh, oh wow, okay. That happened before as well. That's quite funny. Um, yeah, that can happen as well. You just get knocked down, kinda sucks. And there's Donners, wow. How's it going? And I almost got hit again. So yeah, um, Prince Princess Heart costume, very Japanese. She basically turns into like a magical girl. And she can shoot laser beams. And thanks to the hit. So yeah, the strat there is just run straight because if you try and go left or right, you get hit. But I got hit anyway, so. <laughs> yes, Bardo. Yeah, no worries, Joker. Thanks for the good luck. So yeah, right now we're gonna fill up the uh, wine bottle. Like so. And then we're gonna put it in the generator, well like a pump that uh, Gets rid of all the sewage water. If she can hit the trigger. Thank you. Yeah, that trigger is kind of small. Also, you may notice, or you might be able to hear it, that I'm playing on keyboard. Which I don't like, but it's just faster to play on keyboard. Because, yeah, I don't play much PC ports. Or run much PC versions of games for that reason. But yeah, it's just faster to use keyboard with this game. Oops. Yeah, see you later, Joker. So yeah, we're actually coming to a room which uh, I made a save for to practice over and over and over again. But Marathon Luck probably fail it. And there's no enemies in the room, we'll literally just pick up a hairdryer and leave, but it's like precise movement, so we'll see. You can use controls on PC, but it's just, uh, it's not as accurate. Nice, and we got it. The practice paid off. So yeah, looks easy, but that room's kind of a pain. But yeah, we just get a hairdryer and leave, basically. Oh yeah. I mean, as much as, as I was dissing the PC port before, even though it was my fault, um, yeah, the PC port's not too bad, at least compared to Silent Hill 2. So put the hairdryer into the uh, water and it basically gets rid of this, it electrocutes this uh, monster so we can get past. I'm gonna jump in here. Yeah, I'm not sure what um, frame rate the PC version runs at. It like it looks super smooth, but I have no idea. I assume it's just 30 FPS, but it just looks smooth. Also, another fact for the PC version is that um, so in the options menu, you, you can choose the rendering resolution and the regular, you know, resolution size. Uh, the rendering resolution you can have higher than 4k and this game came out in 2003 I think. could be wrong 
So it's like, why? Why can you render it higher than 4K? It's like a 4x3 4K. It's, it's really crazy. But yeah. But the, the, the weird thing is, like, regardless of how good your PC is, I've never got it to work. Like, the game runs in, in that resolution, but it's just choppy. So it's like, what, what are they thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I, it runs, I've just never got it to uh, be, like, full frame rate. Anyway. Now we're in the uh, building site, and yeah, building site is a lot of uh, stairs, so get ready for stairs. And yeah, this hole here, if we jump down without the mattress we die, so you have to put the mattress down first. 4k height. Right, so now we're in the building. I'm not exactly sure what building this is, it's just like a big office building, I guess. Right, so grab this rope. And leave. And then we're gonna get hit by a dog. <laughs> That's just bad luck. That dog can be anywhere, it's not always in the same place. That's another thing with this game, like, most of the enemies are just in random positions. Most of the time. Yeah, that, that, that is a good point. So inside buildings, we basically always run at the same speed. Uh, but in in like outside in the streets or outside in uh, Silent Hill. Also, that's an example of uh, the auto aiming when trying to go through a door. Uh, but yeah, when we're in outside Silent Hill, um, she has like a stamina gauge, so you ha kind of have to keep track of that. So we're gonna use this. Then the rope, and we're gonna climb down to a floor that we couldn't get to before. And just like the mall, and the uh, we are just like the mall. We're going to go to the overworld version of this place. So now it's all rusty and spooky. So we're gonna get some health and a key item and leave. But yeah, that health is important for later. Nice. So yeah, that enemy there. One sec. We're gonna go to floor one first. I have got notes for which floor to go to because you do <laughs> there is a lot of elevators in this game. Um but yeah, that enemy that we just saw that was on like the ground. I can't remember what they're called, but the they're, uh, they're pretty annoying. The um, they basically knock Hepper down, and it just wastes loads of time. And they're kind of hard to dodge. Yeah, thanks to the good luck. So, yeah, the the main um. The reason we can't get out of this building is because there's like a big monster at the entrance. So we kind of need to find a way to get rid of him, is the idea. Whilst trying to dodge these uh, little things on the ground. Oops. Oops. And yes, yeah, another thing. Um, that's different to like Resident Evil is that's in Silent Hill um, 1 and 2 you can use like multiple items at once rather than having to like combine them then use them or use them separately.
And I am expecting to get hit at some point. Maybe not. It's, it's quite hard to get through this area without getting knocked down. Place needs a giant. That's true. Nice. <laughs> Multiple combined. What is this madness? It is kind of crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go back to floor one. So we're gonna enter this room. Uh, coming up after I dodge these. Or try to. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna read this note here, which has like a little like sentence, and when she reads it out in the cutscene, which we're gonna skip, uh, it basically kills the monster. So yeah. In fact, it kills the monster that's blocking the entrance and like every other thing in this place. <laughs> Yo, Deo. Shout outs to Deo. He's much better at this game than me. Deo hype. So yeah, as you can see, Heather's running a bit faster outside, but she'll lose her stamina soon, and then run slower. It's the same with Silent Hill 2 as well. <laughs> it's not true. Alright, now we've got a boss fight. We're gonna equip shotgun and the ample. And we're gonna try and shoot him before he runs off. I can't see. Right, I think he's dead. Yeah, nice. That wasn't too bad. Kind of sucks that he ran, up, uh, ran away, but that happens. But yeah, I've had bad luck with missionary recently. Yeah, usually on easy, it just takes like two shotgun um, hits. So now we're in Silent Hill. Um, what I just did there was I used an ample. So I equipped the ample as I equipped the shotgun just a second ago. And I can use it by pressing a button rather than um, opening the inventory. And using an ample in this game and in Silent Hill 2 means you get 5 minutes of full stamina. So we just get to run as fast as we can, basically. It's so foggy. Yes. Silent Hill is very foggy. It's not, it's not <laughs> keyboard hacks, no. It's an it's in, it's intended mechanic. Equip health used by using a shortcut, essentially. Oh, a creepy hole in the bathroom? That's Silent Hill 4. That's the one after this. The, uh, the one where you're sometimes in first person inside your apartment. Okay, so floor two. So yeah, now we're in the hospital. Uh, pretty much the same as the Silent Hill 2 hospital, minus a few things. Um, pretty much the basement is totally different, but other than that it's the same. And yeah, 4639 is the code, it's always the same. Check this clock, 0310, which is RNG. Nice. That was, that was actually pretty good RNG. Yeah, I don't need that code anymore. That's not good, thanks. So we go back to floor one. So yeah, the nurses 
in this game compared to Silent Hill 2 are a little different. Um, nurses in this game can carry revolvers. Oops. Almost face plant the wall. So yeah, nurses can actually carry guns in this game. Nice. Get the key. And now we're gonna go to the basement. So yeah, this is the main difference between style 2 and 3. Will this work? Okay, it did work. 7268. And that's always RNG. Seven two six eight. I'm gonna have to say this to myself so I don't forget it. Seven two six eight. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I had to say that to myself because I always forget it. I get to the door and then I'm, I end up mixing like one or two digits and losing time, so. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I would say Silent Hill 2 soundtrack's the best, but Silent Hill 3 soundtrack's pretty damn good. So yeah, basically we get a phone call by this crazy guy, tells us to go to this floor and there's a door that's going to appear. <laughs> Great story explanation. So um, yeah, now we're going to enter the Overworld Hospital after we go through these tunnels. Uh, if there's anything you want to plug, Grizz, now's the time. Yeah, sure, I can give a couple of shout outs to some people. Uh, mainly, I just want to give a shout out to all the people that are watching the stream right now, just um, watching uh, ESA host uh, Marathon from UKSG Spring 2020 uh, as we support Crisis. Um, typically, UKSG is an um, on site marathon held in Glasgow, Scotland. But right now, due to the um, current pirate, uh, pandemic, we are hosting an online marathon to support Crisis, a charity supporting people out of homelessness for good, uh, to get people out of homelessness for good. 100% uh, of your donations will be going straight to Crisis, the charity. Um, and here's a little bit about how they actually do it. So Crisis, what they are trying to do is they are trying to provide homeless people with um, a chance of um, getting some extra knowledge, uh, getting themselves um, a chance to rent a place for themselves, and really just to help support them through this pandemic right now so that they can self-isolate themselves, keep themselves safe, and help keep everybody as safe as possible across the United Kingdom. Um, so thank you so much for all your donations and the $727 that you've already donated, but let's see if we can get that donation total to, let's say for now, $800, and let's see if we can get that. Um, uh, let's see by the end of uh, Mr. Silent Vid's uh, Silent Hill 3 run. Awesome, thanks for that. So, yeah, now we're in the other world section. And we're just gonna get some items. Yo, Ivan, how's it going, dude? Uh, that's close. So yeah, these enemies that were in the building site are now back. Uh, floor free. So now we're going to use a plastic bag and fill it up with blood. Like you do. But yeah, we're gonna need that later.
Yeah, you have to be careful because those enemies can uh, turbo. And we're gonna go to one. <clears throat> Also, that's like the only nurse in this section. For some reason, just one nursing. Oops. Right, so now we're gonna equip the shotgun and use this. Alright, now we got another boss fight with Leonard. Sorry, I haven't explained the story very well, you're just best looking it up with this game. Alright, good RNG so far. Quit the submachine gun. Nice. Good fight. Quick fight. <laughs> Which is good. Um, See so yeah, a Leonard. If you're not very quick at the beginning with the shotgun shots uh, to knock him down, he can. Um, just basically swim off and he just swims away and you lose loads of time and yeah I just use another ample for stamina but yeah Leonard, Leonard sucks see so yeah, that's good RNG see so yeah now we're just uh, making our way back to the motel and then we're gonna head off to the amusement park which you guys might, rec uh, might recognize from the beginning of the room. But yeah, that's all. That's the only time we use a submachine gun. We just use a shotgun for the rest of the game. We literally just use the uh, submachine gun for Leonard to kill him quick. For a sub, that machine, <laughs> machine gun dominates, yeah. You can unlock, um, I can't remember how you do it, like what the requirements are, but you can unlock a uh, unlimited ammo submachine gun in this game. It's pretty cool. And you can unlock a lightsaber, which is called a beam saber. <laughs> yeah, it is quite foggy. I don't believe you can change it in the settings. In Silent Hill 2, at least on the PC version, you can change the fog. So like you can have simple or complex fog. But I don't think you can change it in this game. Although I think it looks cool, so... So yeah, right now we're just running into the end of this road. And it should... It should teleport us, basically fast travel because yeah on the map we basically have to go down a big long road so it just fast travels in us. There we go. So yeah this is the section from the beginning of the game except this time it's real so we don't want to die. So we're gonna go over to this corner, quick turn. Nice. So yeah, that's also RNG, like it's RNG how long it takes. Also she didn't want to pick it up. It's RNG how long it takes for it to fall off or collapse. For some reason I don't know why. Alright, got an over, it's fine. Yeah, that's another thing, so getting knocked over is a uh, Silent Hill 3 exclusive. Oh, it's something they introduced. Ronnie the bunny mascot hype. <laughs> he is kind of iconic. Okay, now we're gonna go on a roller coaster. So I just picked up a key, turned the roller coaster off, and then we're gonna go on the tracks. Um, but the roller coaster is gonna come for us anyway. 
And the idea is we just jump off in time before it hits us. Okay. And now we've got a spooky mansion, guys. The Bali Haunted Mansion. Let's Welcome go. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. So, Please this is a PC exclusive skip. Look um, what I've actually done is I've tabbed out the game, so it's froze the game. Then go um, and it pauses the in-game timer. Because we're using game timer for the leaderboards. Uh, so when we tab out, um, like I said, it freezes the IGT because we can't go through the door until he's finished his monologue, so it just saves us time. Spooky mansion. It's, it's all, all just, just a, joke. a joke. But yeah, this I is the reason why uh, you, PC version is the fastest because of this the skip. Truth is only one person died <laughs> by suicide. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> Danny, a uh, young man, tap out the game, please. There we go. Just, so just a prank. His hometown is New Orleans. No, that that did scare me when I first uh, played this. First losing his way. Although I was like thirteen. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to, to heaven? heaven? Let's go. This mansion is quite old, so I'm oh. so sorry. <laughs> Claps in ceiling. <laughs> With big spikes. The mechanism is broken, you see. So yeah, on easy mode, um, stop there, we can I just run you. past and we don't get killed by those spikes. But on I higher difficulties, you, you actually need to crouch Please through. Come back anytime. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit oh, the hospital sink, yeah. Instead. Awesome. So uh, I'm going to try not to die here. To be the exit, <laughs> but it seems just because uh, I still haven't memorized this off by heart very well. So this red miss uh, insta kills you basically, so you have to be quick. And yeah, in the run I did early this morning I uh, almost died. <laughs> I, went the wrong, I did the wrong turn and almost died. That was supposed to be the exit, yes. So we're gonna get this chain. Pick up this red shoe. Yeah, the idea is we'll just pick it up by him to progress, basically. Gonna get this uh, shotgun ammo. Yeah, uh, text doesn't matter in this game, surprisingly. But yeah, it is Chinese. Uh, I just picked it because it's different. You can pick, uh, there's like Japanese, Korean, Chinese, let's pick Chinese, but yeah, text actually doesn't matter in this game. Lives foreign language. It's because like, no, it's because everyone, everyone who knows me knows I play the Japanese version of everything for no reason, other than it's Japanese. So I kind of tried to throw them off by playing this in Chinese. Uh, this one. Yeah, it's true. 
Okay, so we got another boss fight coming up. This is the memory of a lesser. But first, we have to shoot some horses, ponies. See, you actually can't aim up at this point. So, I kind of have to time it decently so that they're actually low down. It's the silent review. Yes, I get called all the time. There isn't really a consistent strat to do this. And is that it? I think that's them all. <laughs> yeah. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the load menu, which pauses the IGT while we wait for this part to continue, because usually we'd just be stood there. It just saves a bit of time. Mm, now we got a boss fight. Nice. Sometimes she tries to run away really quick. Basically, every time I kill her, she spawns back with a different weapon. And she should end up with the submachine gun last. Just gonna kick him. But yeah, kicking does help in this in Silent Hill. You do that a lot. And that is that boss fight. That actually went pretty well. Because sometimes she tries to run off and you just miss and then you have to go chasing her. <laughs> oh, you can read it? Nice. Hats off to you. Reading traditional Chinese must be hard because it's just like crazy kanji. Yeah, if text did matter, then I believe Korean would actually be the fastest, not Chinese. But it, it would be Korean, then Chinese, then Japanese. So yeah, now we're in a chapel. Uh, last area of the game. So I'm going to do a quick uh, save here, and a quick load. Um, basically, there's like a little girl that's invisible, and she dies like she's crying, and you can see her footprints, and she's like slowly going to this painting. Um, but instead of waiting for it to go there slowly, we can just quick save and quick load. Oops. Nice. Also, nice, okay, that, was, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, that missionary that was a boss fight earlier, they now become regular enemies in this area. So the main, main idea of this area is to get five tarot cards, to be, so we can unlock a door, which leads to the final boss. So yeah, right now we're just going through this big maze, essentially.
Also, for some reason, that takes a while to load. Go to Alessa's room, get a key. And then we've got another quick, quick save, quick load part. You can only do this in the PS, uh, not the PS2, the PC version, which is another reason why it's a bit quicker than PS2. Yeah, I would totally if you if you like scary games, or even if you don't like scary games, just play this game. It's good. Like it is, it's just worth it. You gotta at least play it once. Right, so now we need to backtrack a bit, like typical survival horror. You gotta backtrack and use this key. And then that should be the last tarot card that we need, once we've done that. Also those big guys, I'm, I can't remember what they're called, but the big blobs, kind of annoying to get around. Like this guy, he's RNG, he's gonna knock me forward somehow, even though <laughs> I don't get how that works. Uh, I'm gonna let him pass this bed, because it's gonna be hard to get past, there we go. Yeah, he's a real pain, that guy. He can just body you for like... A good, good few minutes. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna backtrack to a lesser's room. Yeah, unfortunately, this last part of the game isn't super exciting. It's just lots of hallways and stuff. Snorlax in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> So yeah, we turn up to the last room. But yeah, this, other than like the penultimate fail at the start of me forgetting the key, I'm thinking the game is broken. Um, this run hasn't been that bad. It's been an okay run. Uh, this one goes here, that there, that there. I love that. Oops. So yeah, final rune coming up. Final boss. Um, with God. So we actually have to fight God right now. Well, this is this is Silent Hill's version of God, by the way. Um. So yeah, time to fight God. So yeah, we're coming up on time soon, I'll let you know when I do the final shot and it switches to the cutscene, but that'll be it. Yes, this game is very strange. <laughs> Every sound in the whole game is strange. But yeah, the strat is just shoot with a shotgun. That's it. I think it's different on higher difficulties. I'm gonna use health just in case, but I think it is just one more shot. And time. That is it. Awesome. So that is Silent Hill 3. Other than me forgetting the key, which I'm going to kick myself about for a while. Because <laughs> I just missed it. And I was like, w why is this not working? Um, other than that, it was a good run. 
and if anyone's interested in running this game yeah time if I can't see the timer yeah 57 what is this gonna be let's see my IGT real quick it's still sub 40 so I'm happy my, my PB is 38.25 so it's not bad but yeah if anyone wants to run the game join the discord uh, it's a fun game to learn and yeah Deo is a legend at this game and he's probably laughed at me for doing that run <coughs> but yeah thanks for watching thanks for the GG's uh, thanks for any donations enjoy the rest of your game stream and thanks for having me